Hello, Teal Nation, and welcome to this special virtual ceremony honoring the class of 2020. I'm Dr. David DiCenzo, president of Coastal Carolina University. While we were excited to host an in-person ceremony recognizing our fall 2020 graduates last week, we understand that some individuals were unable to participate due to the special circumstances or restrictions related to COVID-19. With this in mind, we are hosting this virtual celebration so all fall 2020 graduates are appropriately recognized for reaching such a significant milestone in their lives. To begin today's celebration, I want to take a moment to speak directly to the graduates. You are the class of 2020 and are without a doubt one of the strongest classes I've had the honor of interacting with during my tenure as president. Year after year, you have been faced with a new challenge, and year after year, you have remained strong and stayed the course. Whether your journey was impacted by one of the major hurricanes occurring at CCU each year from 2015 to 2019, or by the life-altering global pandemic of 2020, you persevered, and I am honored to call each of you a Shauna Clear. For those who may not be aware, the Shauna Clear is a proud, fierce rooster who is quick thinking and crafty. When faced with an obstacle, the Shauna Clear finds a solution to the problem. The Shauna Clear always has his eyes fixed on the horizon, ready to rise with the sun and take on new opportunities. Graduates, I can truly say that your class has fully embodied the spirit of the Shauna Clear. And as you leave CCU, many exciting opportunities are on the horizon. So it is my honor to announce that just like the Shauna Clear, the class of 2020 is ready to rise. At this time, we would like to recognize the graduating students whose stellar academic work has qualified them for the President's Award for Academic Achievement. These remarkable students have earned the highest academic distinction, summa cum laude, because they have earned a perfect 4.0 grade point average for all of their academic work. The Fall 2020 President's Award candidates are Kristen Alexis Hanna from Conway, South Carolina, earning a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration and Accounting. Nicole Elizabeth Michael from Westminster, Maryland, earning a Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Nicole was also a member of the HTC Honors College. Michaela Marie Mills from Nescopec, Pennsylvania, earning a Bachelor of Science in Psychology and a minor in Criminology. Michaela is also a member of the HTC Honors College. Alexis Nicole Panapinto from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, earning a Bachelor of Arts in Education and Elementary Education. Victoria Schuyler from Manville, New Jersey, earning a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration and Accounting. Victoria is also a member of the HTC Honors College. Haley Mariah Shetler from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, earning a Bachelor of Arts in Communications and a minor in Pre-Law and Philosophy. Zachary Robert Wilage from Monroe, North Carolina, earning a Bachelor of Arts in Communications and a minor in New Media and Digital Culture. Congratulations to each of you on this outstanding achievement. Hello, I'm Dan Ennis, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs at Coastal Carolina University. 
Each year, the Board of Trustees recognizes qualified retiring faculty members with the title of Distinguished Professor Emeritus, Emeritus Professor, or Distinguished Lecturer. These titles acknowledge the value of an accumulated record of teaching, research, and community service. At this time, Janice Black is hereby recognized as Distinguished Professor Emeritus. Black bought a strong commitment to helping first-generation students succeed when she joined the CCU faculty in 2010. She served as a professor of management in the Wall College of Business Administration. In addition to serving six years as a faculty senator, four years on the Graduate Council, and four years on the MBA Advisory Committee. Most recently, Black was recognized in fall 2020 by the University Center for Global Engagement for her exceptional service and support of international students affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. We appreciate Dr. Black's years of service to the Department of Management and Decision Sciences, the Wall College of Business, and Coastal Carolina University. At this time, Henry Lowenstein is hereby recognized as Distinguished Professor Emeritus. Lowenstein joined the CCU faculty in 2007 as Dean of the Wall College of Business. Most recently, he served as a Professor of Management and Law and a Vereen Endowed Professor of Business. Lowenstein's research on the essential need and economic viability of the railroad system played a critical role in the purchase of the Carolina Southern Railroad by R.J. Corman Railroad Group, helping save the only railroad serving Oree and Marion counties in South Carolina and Columbus County in North Carolina. As a professor, Lowenstein's excellence has been recognized by the Academic Academy and CCU through various awards and achievements. We appreciate Dr. Lowenstein's years of service to the Department of Marketing, Hospitality, and Resort Tourism, the Wall College of Business, and Coastal Carolina University. At this time, Stephen Madden is hereby recognized as Distinguished Professor Emeritus. Madden joined the CCU faculty in 2008 as chair of the newly created Communication Department, which became the fourth largest department at CCU under his leadership. Madden later served as faculty senate chair and most recently served as the CCU faculty ombuds. After covering sled dog racing in Alaska, leasing 18-wheel trucks in Texas, and pursuing graduate studies in New Mexico, Madden discovered his passion was teaching. That passion, combined with his life experiences and dedication to CCU, made him a leader and source of guidance for what is now called the Department of Communication, Media, and Culture. We appreciate Dr. Madden's years of service to the Department of Communication, Media, and Culture, the Edwards College of Humanities and Fine Arts, and Coastal Carolina University. At this time, Ray Moy is hereby recognized as Emeritus Professor. Ray Moy joined the CCU faculty in 1994 and served as an Associate Professor of English in the Edwards College of Humanities and Fine Arts. Moy specializes in the translations of Alfred the Great, and he studies Chinese literature and language. Moy is currently working to produce scholarship linking ancient Chinese culture to Old English culture. During his time at CCU, Moy has served as a faculty senator and as a faculty advisor for Sigma Tau Delta. He has received various honors, including being selected four times for the SGA Apple Award for Outstanding Humanities Professor. We appreciate Dr. Moy's years of service to the English Department, the Edwards College of Humanities and Fine Arts, and Coastal Carolina University. At this time, Carol Osborne is hereby recognized as Distinguished Professor Emeritus. Osborne joined the CCU faculty in 2002. She most recently served as the Director of Academic and Community Outreach, overseeing the Osher Lifelong Learning Institute, Continuing Education, and the Coastal Carolina Kids Camps. Her teaching background at CCU includes courses in contemporary literature, Chinese literature, media and culture, popular fiction, and adolescent literature. Another notable role for Osborne was as Associate Dean of the Edwards College of Humanities and Fine Arts, where she coordinated assessment for the first year experience program within the college, in addition to editing Tapestry, an Edwards College publication. We appreciate Dr. Osborne's years of service to the English Department, the Edwards College of Humanities and Fine Arts, and Coastal Carolina University. Congratulations to all of you. It is my pleasure to transition the next part of this ceremony to someone I hope our graduates are all familiar with by now, the Dean of their academic college. Each Dean has prepared remarks specifically for the graduates within their college and will impart their knowledge one last time before our graduates begin their next journey in life. 
First and foremost, congratulations on being the second graduating class of the 2020 decade. In my previous spring 2020 commencement address, I focus on the fact that due to the pandemic, we will all be facing some very serious challenges. But we should remain optimistic because this health crisis will pass. You will have the rest of the 2020 decade to thrive and successfully accomplish many of your goals. The reason I prefer to focus on the broader idea of the whole decade rather than just this pandemic year is to be positive and optimistic on how you will be following this great milestone of graduating from college. Think about how much can be accomplished in 10 years. In the last 10 years of your life, you got through middle and high school, graduated college. Think of all you accomplished in the past 10 years and then ask yourself where you want to be in the next 10 years. How will you take every advantage of your college education to prepare yourself to achieve goals so that in 2030, you will look back at the last 10 years and be able to say, look at all I have accomplished. What's next? However, I want to pause here and take this commencement address in a slightly different direction. In our nation, at our university, and in our college, we are now facing some very important challenges that will define who we are as a nation and as individuals. Throughout our nation, states, and the individual communities where you will end up teaching, you will more than likely need to continue addressing issues related to this pandemic, systemic racism, issues of equity and inclusion of marginalized populations, and the significant divisions that all these issues are causing in our society. As an educator, you are naturally placed in a position of leadership. So beyond teaching, as a leader, your actions serve as a role model for the ideas, beliefs, and values that shape our culture and society. As a leader, you can choose to be proactive and emulate leadership characteristics that are positive, equitable, and honest to create a positive culture in whatever school and community you find yourself. Or the adverse of those characteristics would be a leader who chooses to be authoritative, manipulative, and dishonest in ways that further divide the community and create a culture of distrust and apathy. You are about to embark on a career choice that places you in a position as a great influencer of many generations of young students who will grow up to address issues of racism, equity, and many other issues that will cause divisions in our democratic society. Just think about it. You may teach for 25 years and in each of those years serve as a role model for at least 50 plus students. That's a minimum of a total of 1,250 students' lives that you will influence. If we count all of our graduates this semester, approximately 52, this graduating cohort will have the opportunity to influence 65,000 students' lives. I tell you this to emphasize the idea that we as educators can make such a big difference in the positive development of our society and culture. Please accept that responsibility and be a leader who is positive, equitable, and honest. Correct yourself or someone else when they are being too authoritative, manipulative, and dishonest. If we all seriously take on that responsibility, we increase the probability of helping develop a more positive and caring culture. Now, all of that was the ideal part of this commencement address. Very important, but I also want to briefly talk about the pragmatic part of your graduation. You are graduating at a time when there is great demand for new teachers. You have heard me discuss the supply and demand issues that the teaching profession is experiencing, and that issue is still very much present. Teaching positions allocated for the 2019-20 school year in South Carolina had school districts reporting just over 53,000 full-time and part-time certified teaching positions. What this data means is that now that you have graduated, your employment prospects should be very positive. And even though the data I just mentioned is specific to South Carolina, I know that it is generalizable to almost all 50 states. So go forth with confidence and get the teaching job you desire and to begin to make that positive difference in all of your students' lives. So, in this brief congratulatory presentation, 
I have tried to focus on three ideas. First, you are the second graduating class of 2020 and the beginning of a new decade. 10 years is a long time. Make goals and plans for what you want to accomplish by 2030. Don't come to the end of this decade and be the person saying, I wish I knew then what I know now. Think and plan to achieve your goals so that you do know what you need to know. Second, as an educator, you are naturally placed in a position of leadership. So beyond teaching, as a leader, your actions serve as a role model for the ideas, beliefs, and values that shape our culture and society. As a leader, you can choose to be proactive and emulate leadership characteristics that are positive, equitable, and honest to create a positive culture in whatever school and community you find yourself. The job prospects and respect for the teaching profession is now very high. Now that you have graduated, find that job and continue to represent the Spadoni College of Education and Coastal Carolina University. Continue to be an advocate for making the teaching profession all that it can be. Congratulations and stay in touch. And now the moment you all have been waiting for. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the people of the state, acting through their representatives in the General Assembly and the Board of Trustees of this university, and upon the recommendation of the faculty thereof, I confer upon you the degree for which you have been recommended, which entitles you to all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto. I now have a special request for members of the Coastal Carolina University Class of 2020. Graduates, no matter where you are, will you please rise. If you are viewing this ceremony in your cap and gown, I ask that you move your tassel from the right side to the left to signify your status as a graduate. If you are participating today without a cap and gown, I hope that you will take a bow or give yourself a pat on the back and celebrate with your friends and family. You are officially a graduate of Coastal Carolina University. Congratulations. At this time, theater faculty member Christy McIntyre will announce the candidates for degrees. Spadoni College of Education, Education Specialist. Ginger Marie Daniel. Chad Jerome Hamilton. Samantha Marie Justice. Maya Alexis Woods. Spadoni College of Education, Master of Arts in Teaching. Shakira Temperance Sio. Chelsea Eudora D. Champlain. Megan Michelle Hoffman. Spadoni College of Education, Master of Education. Caitlin Marie Bellamy. Alexis Ladrina Brown. Jennifer Morris Castleman. Oprah Tiara Coatney. Nicole Erica Corwin. Kristen Dawn Crump. Zane Gavin Cruz. Macy Laramore Culler. Emily Elizabeth Day. Vanessa Linnell Deese. Courtney Nicole Dennis. Michelle Maria DiPrizio. Rachel Lynn Doubt. Keely Ray Dowell. 
Marina Drojd Reed. Aaron Renee Eanes. Katherine Johnson English. Caitlin Blair Erickson. Lynn H. Fox. Taylor Edmonds Higgins. Deanna Hoffman. Brianna Renee Huff. John Cody Ladutko. Jamie Lee McDowell. Randy Caitlin Morris. Michael Joseph Morrison, Jr. Jesse Michael Percoco. Kevin Peter Rigopoulos. Autumn Elian Rivers. Simone Ashley Robinson. Lorraine Rose Schneider. Sarah Elizabeth Steed. Tracy Dale Sullivan. Donna Daniels Walker. Victoria Brittany Watts. Kelsey Elizabeth Wayman. Jessica Brooke Wood. Megan Denise Worrell. Travis James Youngblood. Spadoni College of Education, Bachelor of Arts. Casey Lynn Bellinger. Charmaine Nache Branch. Alyssa Dawn Caruana, magna cum laude. Sarah Riley Chica. Carly Marie Christensen. Amber Nicole Curry, cum laude. Nicholas Joseph Dijon. Joanna Elizabeth Durant, magna cum laude. Christina Maria Gasky. Brianna Mackenzie Gerald. Michaela Gray, cum laude. Abigail Ruth Heyman. Aaron Francis Hellefs. Kelly Ann Hopkins, cum laude. Brianna Eisen, magna cum laude. Jordan Farrell Johnson. Princess Mary Louise Lee Jones. Anthony B. Junod. Sarah Elizabeth Kimsey. Kelly Moran Komnick. Taylor Paige Kudrick. Ithaca Chloe Curtinitis, cum laude. Caitlin Nicole Lauro. Jeanette Heidi Lopez. Jamal Gabriel Lucas. Allison Anna Mansmith, cum laude. Sky Taylor McBride, summa cum laude. Sarah Brittany Miller. Brittany Catherine Morgan. Jensen Taylor Newsom, magna cum laude. Jessica Taylor Coleman Odell. Alexis Nicole Panapinto, summa cum laude, trustee award. Hannah Constance Quinn, magna cum laude. Madeline Marie Reed, 
magna cum laude. Ronald Kenneth Robinette, summa cum laude. Jasmine Rosabel Rodriguez. Elisa Kettler Rowell, magna cum laude. Jordan Rashad Scott. Virgil Jamal Scott. Alexis Rose Siegel. Allie Marie Skipper. Danielle Lynn Tillman. Emily Faith Tyree. Lindsay Brooke Vandermeulen. Kadisha Taikia Wallace. Destiny Lynn Watts, magna cum laude. Hannah Nicole White, magna cum laude. Hannah Margaret Wiesner. Hello, class of 2020. I'm Diane Sanders, class of 2005 and executive director of alumni relations here at Coastal. Today, I'm excited to be the first to say to you, congratulations, alumni, you made it. It is truly an honor to be a part of this virtual celebration with you. More than 37,000 alumni from 50 states and numerous countries all around the world join me in congratulating you on your hard-earned achievement. You are now a member of this exclusive group that we proudly call Alumni of Coastal Carolina University. Members of your alumni family include an Emmy-winning Associate Art Director for Nickelodeon, a three-time U.S. Olympian, and a leading software entrepreneur who was named one of the top 40 CEOs under 40 by American Venture Magazine. And that's just to name a few. So we look forward to also seeing your rise to greatness. As a new graduate, we are providing each of you today with a one-year membership into the Coastal Carolina University Alumni Association. Through the Alumni Association, you will discover many opportunities to be involved with your alma mater. I encourage you to visit campus as often as you can, attend local or regional alumni events, and please know that your Office of Alumni Relations will always be here as a resource for you. In the years ahead, I hope that you continue to stay connected to Coastal, not just as alumni, but also as volunteers, as ambassadors, and just proud supporters. By continuing to engage with CCU, you will pave the way for those who come after you. Your active participation will strengthen this already thriving university. As alumni, you make us proud and show the value of a Coastal Carolina University degree. Be proud and celebrate this day and your great accomplishments wherever you are. And remember, you will forever be a Chanticleer and a member of Teal Nation. As a final note to our graduates, I hope you continue to embrace the spirit of the Shauna Clear as you journey ahead, and I hope that your time spent here at Coastal, the impact you've made, the achievements, and the challenges you have overcome has provided you with irreplaceable experiences, lasting friendships, life lessons, and motivation to make a positive difference within your communities and in the lives of those in your midst. The alma mater, will now play, followed by a beloved tradition of faculty congratulating you and ushering you through to the next chapter of your life. Congratulations, class of 2020. Go Shots! We come to you to lead our search and learn to reach beyond ourselves. Bronze.
Congratulations, very proud of you. Congratulations from the HTC Honors College and Center for Interdisciplinary Studies. You did it. Good job. Excellent. Congratulations. Outstanding work, everyone. Congratulations. Congratulations. Well done. Good job. Congratulations. Congratulations from the Spadoni College of Education. Congratulations. Congratulations. You did it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Way to go. Good job. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations, graduates from the Edwards College of Humanities and Fine Arts. Congratulations. Congratulations from the Wall College of Business. Congratulations. Congratulations from the Gupta College of Science.